There's a lot of crazies out there, Quill. Willing to pay for this kind of weird... Any okay. attempt to sell anything of mine will result in me chopping off something valuable of yours. Hey. Perhaps we should reconsider another course of action. Yep. Such as capturing the infamous... No! Okay, boys, let's ride the hell! We got this! Probably! Alrighty, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to everyone. How are we doing? We've got some more shenanigans tonight. Bring on the lols. I had such a blast playing through the start of this game last night. I'm so excited. And I've just noticed here too, whilst we're sitting in the menu, Drax is reading a book about sarcasm. <laughs> and he's wearing glasses. So he's like a wise old man wearing glasses. But he's trying to learn about the concept of sarcasm. Because him and his race are such literal people. I love it. But all right, so we crack on. So last episode, um, we launched into this game, started to get the feel of this game. Obviously, there is heaps of dialogue and banter so far. I love it. It's so funny because I can't even get a word in. <laughs> but that's all right because this is far more interesting than what they're all talking about. So we were trying to... Uh, capture a beast for some special person, lady person, um, who was going to pay a lot. Um, we failed. The beast was killed by some other weird thing. And then Novacore showed up, um, captured us, and fined us. So we've been fined 8,000 units. So we need to come up with money to pay off our fine, and we're launching into the next chapter. So we're on the ship, we've talked to everyone for a bit of a debrief, and we're trying to find and scrounge up any units on the ship that we may have that we can use. So let's see how we go. At Sparkle Source, you've had 20 wines from this year's vintage. Damn! Nice. I am watching you, Rodent. What's that supposed to mean? It is common knowledge that Rodents hoard nuts, stolen technology, Units. <sighs> okay. First off, I ain't a hoarder, nor a rodent. I know you have a stash hidden aboard this ship. Fetch it. Now. There ain't nothing to fetch. Group yeah, we saw this. stash on Contraxia, and the rest I gave to Quill and Gamora for the Dash Quarantine Zone access code. A likely story. Why don't you go bother someone else? I intend to. And that he does. So, do we have to what do all want? these conversations again? You're looking for units? Check your own room. So, you here to talk, or uh, you just want a gear upgrade? Let's check in. You're not still upset, are you? It'd be a lot better if we didn't have three cycles to pay a fine. Hey, remember that time on Conlar with the Badoon and that really hot Ascavarian girl? <laughs> yeah, her buddies would have spaced your stupid Humey butt if me and Groot hadn't busted in. I had things under control, mostly. Ha! <laughs> Too bad you're broke, Quill. I should be charging you for all the times we saved you. <laughs> Name one other time you saved me. Contraxia, Nowhere, Parametar, Ceres, Contraxia again, Malador... Okay, 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 so I owe you. Big. I should have turned you in for Yondu's bounty. Sure as Scott wouldn't be scrounging for units to pay off your Nova girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. But admit it. You like being a guardian of the galaxy. Still on the fence about the brand name, but uh, <laughs> keeping the Milano as collateral was a pretty smart move. Never agreed to that. If you'd rather I turn you in. Don't worry. I know you put a lot into this team. I'll make it up to you. You better. Open this door. I know you are in there, sentient tree. <laughs> do not think that I do not know what you are up to. <laughs> Your rodent co-conspirator has clearly stashed his illicit units in there. I am Groot. <laughs> I am watching you, tree. So maybe it didn't save... Groot. Groot? You okay in there? I am Groot. You open the door for a minute. I am Groot. Is that my toothbrush? I am Groot. Great. Now I need a new toothbrush. We did all these conversations, but it hasn't saved them. So let's blast through them again 
And uh, Groot is singing to himself. So you're taking the whole f uh, Oh, in a sap. Oh, I. It murder. Alright, very good. Drax is pissed. He is pissed. And now I can't get out the door. There we go. Gamora doing a meditation. Alright. You want to see what that was all about? Check out last the end of last episode. <laughs> Alright, so there was. It's just where we've just got stuff in Quill's room, like the cassette tape leaflet. Well, well, well. Let's see if we can find some stray units in here. Really? Not a lot. Hello, Sai Sai. How you doing, man? Welcome. Seven units. We appear to be 7,963 units short. God damn it, this has now loaded the next part of the story mission, which we don't want to do yet, because I need to tick off all the conversations in case they lead to other conversations later. Love from India off. Oh, fucking serious. Ode back here then. <laughs> Love from Melbourne, Australia, my friend. Um, are you playing in which? We are playing Guardians of the Galaxy, streaming live from Melbourne, Australia. Oh, come on. But that has auto-updated that one, right. So the save game mechanism in this is really clunky. Okay, we're learning. We're learning how to do this. Uh, I'm playing on PC, by the way. Sorry if that was a question. You've got a Series S and a PS5. You're collecting all of it. I am all the sets. Rodent. What's that supposed so to be? I'm playing on a uh, PC with a uh, GTX, no, RTX 3080 Ti. Tell the rodent that his selfishness endangers us all. Rocket, we could really use any extra units you have. Oh, this is different. How do I gotta spell it out for you? I don't got no units. Fair enough. You believe his lies? Oh. I ain't lying. Now why don't you leave me alone and bother someone else instead? I intend to. So yeah, the game don't do a broken sparkle source. We've just learned that what it's purely, want, purely... For units, check your own room. Purely checkpoint so, based. You here to talk or... Meaning uh, that even when I hit save at the end of last night, it hadn't saved the, all the conversations that we've done. It only saved back to the start of the chapter. Uh, no. Never agreed to if you open this door. I know you are in there, sentient tree. Uh, so Sai Sai, yes, we have um ray tracing turned on high. All the graphics are turned on high. Once Drax stops talking. I am watching you, tree. Um, so everything's cranked up. Um, it's as high as I can get everything. Um, but also, look, this game is very good for consoles. It's very console friendly with the controls. I'm not using a controller. I'm still using keyboard and mouse because I'm just really bad with controller. Think you could open the door for even for games like this that are good for controllers. <laughs> is that? And uh, so, Frosty, yes, um, Charlotte the cat. Seemed startled by my singing to her, to you. <laughs> my serenading. I'm sure the others will do the same. So, uh, all right. Oh, I it burned. All right. Skip through these conversations. Apologies, everyone. Stick with me for a couple of minutes. We went through all of these conversations last night. We're not doing them again. Open the door, and we're stuck. There we go. Gamora doing a meditation. I, I, Whatever that is, with. Weird doll figurines around her. We'll skip Quill's room, jump into Rocket's room, and this is where we can ask him about this collectible we picked up. I wonder Rocket's the way he is. Oh, he didn't talk to us about it. Maybe it did save the. Wonder what would have happened if Lila had survived. Oh, he's referring to Lila. That's the extra conversation that we had with rocket so it did save that okay so that's good so these other conversations are ephemeral they're just part of the chapter but the extra ones that we had maybe are saved so got any ideas to get those units cool. together do you have investments <laughs> you think i look like an investment type of guy you are a risk taker exactly 
I don't sit behind no desk all day hoping for real estate fluctuations. I go out and I do stuff. That's true. Hey, so Gamara is doing meditation with toys. I really want to ask more questions to her about that. <laughs> it's so bizarre. And Trax's door, I don't know why that was delayed, but anyway, we're in action now. Does it bother you that if we don't manage to get the money in time, this team is toast? We will get the coin, Peter Quill promised. We shall not turn to roasted bread slices. Yeah, <laughs> well, uh, no offense to Quill, but he ain't too good at keeping his promises. Oh, Ben! Yup, neither am I. Aha! Thank you, Groot. <laughs> Alright, so this is where we've stashed these other weird bits, which I think come into play later. Find that on top of the Space Llama. There's two tips that I got from uh, preparation. They're, I always try and avoid spoilers. And this guy had two tips. Look, hide the stuff, the tech that Racket finds. Contacted one of the assassins and uh, pay off your debt to the Novacore in the right chapter when you can. You want to sell out one of Gamora's guys? That's what we do. If they are murderers, then justice would be served, and we could negotiate an extension of our fine. Huh. Well, if uh, I wasn't so sure Gamora would stab you in your sleep just for suggesting it, I think it was a pretty solid plan. So they're scheming on turning in Gamora to the Nova Corps. If you want to make it up to me, find a way to pay this flark and fine. All right, we will. Oh, what's here? What's this? Guys, don't forget to close the fridge. Yeah. Thing, Mom Lord. Ah, so Sai Sai, what are the... Ugh. But I can upgrade your stuff if you want. Thanks. Oh, actually, we might have a quick look I'm at that. broke, Quill. You want to pay off your girlfriend? Look in your room. Have a look at what Rocket can upgrade for us. So Sai Sai, what other games do I have? Many, many games, but the games I tend to stream usually are RPGs with story and lore, and we tend to explore the lore and the story as it unfolds. So we've done like the Dragon Age series, the Mass Effect series. Then we've started the Witcher series. We'll be finishing that later this year. Um, next up, though, is going to be some Elder Scrolls action with Oblivion, remastered with mods to make it look modern and awesome. Uh, but that's what's up next, with lots of juicy, juicy lore to sink our teeth into. I cannot wait. That's going to be fun. So, Frosty, sounds like good tips. Don't stiff your ex-law enforcement girlfriend. <laughs> uh, do you know in this game, the fridge closing, we can do infinite times? I did not know that. <laughs> so you're telling me I shouldn't close it every time. What else have we got? Charge shot. Magnet. No, there was something else. Let's do a tactical scan. So we can... Ah, this is what we need. Perfect dodge. That's what I should have spent them. All right. We'll save up for that one. Apparently that, I think, is meant this to be a good upgrade. Worth more than you're worth, Quill. Thanks. That's lovely. But anyway, now we can scan enemies in combat. Awesome. Now let's get some units together for the next part of the chapter. Pew, 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 pew. And I... Hit the mirror button instead, instead of <laughs> instead of the pilot units here. All right. Uh, so, 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 some have rec uh, on record that the fridge closing that in a million time record. Well, well that well, well. that's a lot. We can find some stray units in here. Really? Not many units. Thirty-seven units. We appear to be seven thousand nine hundred and sixty-three units short. If we intend to keep our ship, Peter Quill. I know. I know. We clearly. Need a plan. And reconsider my initial proposal. Oh, no, not Fin Fang Foom again. Yes, we should go after Fin Fang Foom. Drax, there are easier ways to get paid. Like, what about selling Gamora's crap? What? Oh, <laughs> come on. You've been hoarding them stupid knickknacks ever since you first joined us. I mean, don't tell me they ain't worth nothing. The quarantine zone was always a holding out My on figurines are not knickknacks. Huh, team's in trouble. Then you can't be bothered to make no sacrifice. For the I star will sacrifice system. your head. And take us. Guys! Maybe Rocket has something. There's a lot of crazies out there, Quill. Willing to pay for this kind of weird. No! <laughs> Let's say my collection is actually worth something. There's no way we find a buyer in time. And even if we do, 
There's no way it gets us what we need. And most importantly, any attempt to sell anything of mine will result in me chopping off something valuable of yours. Hey. Perhaps we should reconsider another course of action. Yep. Such as capturing the infamous- No! I am Groot. I oh, don't know, no. what is Fing Fang Fu? I am Groot. What? What? He says we should combine both ideas. Sell Gamora's trinkets to Fin Fang Foom. It is brilliant! Yeah, you know, the only problem with your plan is that Lady Hellbender only buys monsters. And you are not a monster! He's not. He's the sweetest, most... I am Groot. No, you don't. This ain't something you can pretend. I am Groot. Oh, yeah? You want monster? I'll show you monster! Whoa, guys! <laughs> he loves Groot too much to let him pretend to be a monster. Are you really offering to... No, no, he is not offering that, okay? It could work. Oh, Rocket loves him so much. Sell Groot? I guess we could bust him out after. Absurd. Lady Hellbender seeks the monster within. The small, ugly one is clearly the correct choice. Huh. He's cruel, sadistic, and his soul is filthy and filled with rage. Monster Queen would pay a great sum for such a creature. <laughs> really? <laughs> How great. How are you okay with this? Because I know what I am. And I know what he ain't. I am Groot. I vote we sell Groot. I honestly think Lady Hellbender will go for it. Yeah, well, I vote for not Groot. I also vote for the creepy little beast. Two votes each. Peter? <laughs> oh, no. We either choose to sell Groot and break him out or sell Rocket and break him out. Ah, uh, let's go with Groot. It was Groot's idea and we'll need Rocket in order to bust him out. Well, I think Groot's more convincing in... The traditional monster sense. Group, buddy, first of all, thank you. And second of all, I want you to know we're gonna bust you out of there right after, okay? I am Groot. All right, let's do this. Let's go sell a monster. Yeah. All right, that's what we're doing, apparently. <laughs> so, Sai Sai, you voted for Rocket, so you sold Rocket. We're not Very good. Flying into that. They say the weather patterns of Seknarf 9 are tied to the temperament of its ruler. Ooh. That's not how women work. Or weather. Anyways, I'm sure it looks worse than it is. Nope, it's pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's some bad weather. There! That's Lady Hellbender's fortress. Get us in close, Quill. I don't want to walk in this. Yeah, that's true. Oh, next minute we get yep, hit. No problem. Next minute we get hit by lightning. I don't want to. I don't have to get stuck in the weather. Nah, he's not flying at all. Guys, relax. Just one minor adjustment. All right, set her down. <sighs> Piece of cake. Nice. You can't be serious. So. so Oh, I broke it. Broke what? the game. Oh, hang on. So, uh, it's not feeling good because we're selling Groot, but it's either that or Rocket. We don't have a choice, but we're going to break him out again. It's going to be fine. There's going to be more shenanigans. So I guess that's what we're doing because you had to pick one or the other. So Sparkle Souls, Groot is such a sweetie. Yes, he is. But that's why we need Rocket's, like, despicable, like, what's the right word? Corruptedness on our team so we can bust Groot out. So that's how I'm justifying it anyway. Plus it was Groot's idea. <laughs> this way we can scope things out before we finish the transaction. We're like a hundred clicks from her base. You know how much I like scoping. <laughs> they don't like where we've parked. Awesome. All right. So, so say um, Uncharted series has come to PC. Oh, that'll be awesome. I will definitely check that out. New conversation. The spinal control unit can now be discussed in Rocket's room. We did that. that. How about we find some backwater world and go off grid for a while? Nova Corps ain't gonna chase us forever. It worked for me in the past. <laughs> Will? 
Backwater worlds are like this natural environment. The guy's tearing for Flark's sake. Next time, I'm flying. Are you sure the leafy one is ready for this? Nope. He'll be fine. Leafy one. Don't you get all gloomy right now. Don't help. Because your constant complaining does? <laughs> you, you are complaining about the short one complaining. We're all complaining. Happy? <laughs> oh, there's so much dysfunction. This is going to take a while. So I saw, yes, ask a question. Cheer up, rodent. Rain will be refreshing. Rain is sky trash. Ha! Ah, sky water. Calm down yourself. You love rain, you Clark and Plant. <laughs> All right, let's see if I can just trigger this again. It said there's something about this thing that we could... What the Kree did to Rocket? Should have been a war crime. Oh, we've already done it. Yeah, it's definitely done. Definitely done that conversation. All right, let's bust on down, I guess. Hey, Groot, you think I got time to build a sonic umbrella? I'm Groot. Ah, oh, come on, it's only gonna take a tick. I am Groot. Shoot, you're right. We ain't got no roto adhesive left. A, uh, a sonic umbrella sounds awesome. So it's like a powered thing that uses, what, sound waves or sound booms? to uh, repel the wa the raindrops? That's great. <laughs> Bet we could have made some money if we'd stopped by nowhere first. Will you um, in a stop? I can't believe I'm about to say this, but how about some positivity for a change? <sighs> Let's see. At least Quill had the good sense to hide my loot crate before Novacor started nosing around the ship. That's no, true, we did. Sounds better. I sense there is more coming. Sure would be nice if I could use those parts to upgrade our weapon systems, though. But I guess the Milano's getting impounded in three cycles, so... Almost had it. <laughs> Almost was positive. Uh, so I say, no, there's still a shortage of PS5s in Australia as well. Um, which is why Frosty's had a hard time also doing it too, right? Uh, why don't we ever get missions on nice, warm, dry planets? <laughs> Paramitar did have a nice forest because it was dry. There are so many... There's so much conversation in this. Very good. No, we should not go. We got it. It's different. And Rocket, how are you doing, buddy? You hate this plan. It had to be raining. Right. They say that Seknarf 9 is inhospitable to soft-bodied beings. We shall see how you fare, Peter Quill. <laughs> Thanks, Drax. Hope that jacket of yours is waterproof. It's a cool jacket, though. I like it. Let's go, team. Okay, here we go. I ever mentioned how much I hate rain? Hellbender's castle isn't even that far. That is not a castle. It is an impregnable fortress. Yeah. So how do we impregnate it? Ask Peter! <laughs> <laughs> just get closer. We'll figure it out on the way. Yeah, ask Peter for sure. Uh, so Sai Sai. As beast merchants, we will easily gain access to Lady Helmet. Good! We've already got a beast. All that's left is the merchant part. Good thing I put on my official merchant costume. There is no such thing. Right? The fact you ain't sure don't vote so good. Ah. Uh, so Sai Sai, yes. Uh, third party scalpers are still a problem for PS5s worldwide. I think they're also quite bad in the US. But in Australia, we also get... Parking job, Quill! I do not see what explosives have to do with our current position. Because I'd rather be blown to bits than stuck in this parking storm! Yeah, if I was fairy like Rocket, I would hate the rain as well. <laughs> um, yeah, in Australia, we also sometimes get the Australia tax, we nickname it, because we're so far disconnected from... Uh, a lot of suppliers uh, and retailers in other parts of the world. Although we're still technically closer to China than most others, so anyway, things tend to cost more here anyway. Fire lived in the middle of a in monsoon. It was not pertinent to our task. Slide down the rocks. Yummy. Out! Uh, hey, is my jacket all right? At least you got a jacket. Some of us are soaking here. Less whining, more walking. Hey, Stormlord, we ain't serious. 
seriously walking through this. It'll take forever in this storm. Stop complaining. The hardship will strengthen your spirit. We won't walk, we'll hike. It'll be fun. Woohoo! Team hiking trip. That's just a fancy word for walking. Come on, at least you won't be bored. <laughs> Team hiking trip. Um, is the audio okay or is it glitching for you, Frosty? Okay, guys, if we just keep our footing, it'll be a straight shot across. I agree. The bottom way looks drier. The bottom way is death. There are beasts in the jungle. We got this. You still fall and we'll be fine. Agreed. You must face Lady Hellbender's rage head on. Almost sounds like you want to get hit by lightning. I would not expect a Chitauri traitor to understand the underlying value. The underlying value of getting killed? Of being direct, you child of subterfuge. What is your problem? Lady Hellbender <laughs> scoffs upon duplicity and dishonor. Can we refocus here? We're here to trick some lady, not kill each other. She's not just some lady. Lady Hellbender is a known warrior. And a queen. And stinking wreck. Exactly. She's a stinking rich warrior queen businesswoman. And she won't yeah. be able to resist a good deal. Same as us. Perhaps some of us. If Lady Eight is so powerful, why does she live on this scuttle? Zeknoff Nine is her ancestral home. Concept you are clearly unfamiliar with, Abomination. Where are you from ain't what matters, Meathead. It matters to Lady Hellbender. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Lyrium. The, it looks like squashed brains. Ew. Fungi, whatever the scut they are, I'm getting all turned around on these things. We must proceed in the direction of Lady Hellbender's fortress. Right, like it's that simple. I say, where is uh, Gomorrah? Because that's the side we were following, but over here is the way. Okay. Follow the purple. I love Rain 2 Sparkle Sauce. I love the sound of it. Especially at night time going to sleep. Let's pick it up, Quill. Oh, shit. Way too close. Well played, Lady Hellbender. <laughs> Trax. Trax loves it. So we're still doing this. Yes! Okay, no visor ridge. Alright, up we go. Lady Hellbender's domain. It all Guys! Oh shit, we're being blown back. Keep an eye out on those big blue ones and take cover when they hit. Or we'll get blown right off. Good advice. Okay. So we use the. Oh, that's how we get blown off. And not in the good way. <laughs> so you're waiting for your subscription to come through, Sai. Hopefully soon. Oh, wow, this is terrible. Okay, I need to actually pay attention. Scouting, okay? No, it's not going the wrong way. Alright, lightning strike. Okay. Blow back. And now we jump. Okay. Yeah, this might be more dangerous than I thought. I thought you lived for danger. Yeah, keep word live. If any of you die, I'm going back to the ship. <laughs> if anyone dies, he's going back to the ship. That's very wise. What am I supposed to do with this? What am I yelling? Are you disoriented, Peter Quill? Even more than usual. I'll have you know my sense of direction is impeccable. Says the guy who landed on the wrong side of the planet. <laughs> oh, don't blow us back. <laughs> I fucking failed. Damn, this is not easy. All right, hit the strike. Strike. Shockwave. Now go. Now go, Quill. That is a terrible suggestion! Oh dear. Oh, it's... Alright, we're going to the underside after all. <laughs> so, Frosty, yes, we will bust out Groot once it's been sold. That is the plan. We should have gone to Maku 4. Hey! Check out the old resistance ship. Yeah, nice. The thing's been shot to hell. No doubt by this one and her Chitauri friends. We weren't friends. Uh, guys. What is this? Eh, cube. Not sure. The 
Cuby metally. Would be wary, Rodin. Uh, you know what? I survived freaking half world. I think I'm scared of some little. Whoa! It's nearly got you. Get ready. Fight the Cuby Jello balls. Okay. Gelatinous cubes. Yeah, that's it. So weird. All right. Uh, let's scan something. Can we scan these? Capable of bounding great distances, maintain evasive maneuvers, and focus fire. Okay. Thank you, scanner thing. It's about to be an endangered species. Lock it down, please, Groot. Focus fire, everyone. Which one are we wanting to focus on? Ah! Up the back. That's got it. Oh, it generates the gelatinous stuff as a, as a shield. Okay. One down. Should use Gamora. You must be quicker, assassin. Oh, this looks chunky. From its sharp edges. You got this one. Lights up! Another wave of freaks. Let's end it. I love how um, Rocket mounts up on uh, Groot's back. So cool. All right, shoot this thing. I need to time my overheat reloads better. The outer is only and I keep missing the opportunity. Oh, hang on. I see. Drux, pick up the rock. Nice. Jax, be strong. Oh, all right, hang on. We need Groot. Lock him down, please. Rocket. Throw your clusterfuck bomb. Smack this inside! Is this some general life advice? Oh, we're not doing well. I oh, shit. What? I don't know. Don't eat him! All right, Gamora, do your thing. Thank you. From its nucleus. Dark, pointy death coming your way. Eyes on the prize, Peter. Get a bit closer. Get the purple one. Oh, Peter Quill is slapped. This is not how to play this game. Oh my god, so much fail. Lock it down, Groot. Destroy the force to kill. There we go. That's better. Shit. Yes, yeah, so I did the um, the bomb after um, uh, Groot locked him down. Took me a while to figure that one out, though. Alright, that one's done. That's a lot of pain for such a weird little thing. The other rock is only a There you go, Gamora. Slice that one. Thank you. The blobby's got a knife! Jelly All right, Drax, throw this thing. Throw it at the blue one. Yes. Nice. Nice. Excellent. Now we're in business. Oof. Okay. Brute, lock him down. Rocket. Smash his inside. This is general life advice. Okay, the red ones I think are weaker, so let's focus on them. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Chop that one. Come on, lock him down. That's the shot. All right, Rocket. Ow. That's a good explosion. Thank you, Rocket. Stay away from the dark edges. Yes, this is the local fauna. It's about to be an endangered species. Oh, get the uh, uh, stop hitting that. I keep hitting shift to sprint. But it does a very different button. You should try stabbing them! Why would this thing 
even exist? I am not sure, but I am sure that That's you have crushed it! That's what around here looks like? We are outside Lady Hellbender's sanctuary. The creatures here are not her pets. We sort of do look like food. We're gonna be food if we don't climb out of here. There's a trail uh. going through the jungle! Try to find a way up! Okay, sorry, that was not very coordinated on my behalf. I ain't comfortable calling it a husk, seeing as we're about to climb it and all. Clearly not a husk. It is the hollowed husk of a bygone time, when the turmoil of war raged stronger than the storms of this world. Peter, get moving. Drax is having an existential meltdown. No fails, shoot stuff. Words to live by. <laughs> Didn't think I'd ever be shooting at a resistance ship. All right, Drax, do Drax, some magic, can you? Pull this reactor out gently, right? If it were combustible, the rodents would have shot it by now. He makes an excellent point. Well, I continue ah. ripping it apart. No, no, no. I think we're good. Good job, team. Up we go. Nothing else in the area, right? Just that rock. You ever okay. Fly one of these things, Gamora. No doubt she shot them down. I fought the Shatari, same as you. And yes, I flew one. Great. We made mm. it halfway up. Now what? Maybe if we could lower that wing somehow. The frosty you've seen one of these fly swatters in years, working or otherwise. I got to get ahead. Try not to kill yourselves on the way up. There they are. Wing controls. Work your magic. All right, rocket. That wing control panel's all yours. Hope it still works. Great. Everyone watch out for beeping red lights. What? Why? This is a resistance ship. We'll be lucky if there's only one booby trap on it. Yeah, Drax is hella strong and hella tough. Like, he can take a real beating. That don't sound like no jelly thing. They say that Lady Hellbender's call echoes throughout the planet. That don't sound like no lady either. Oh, hang on. Something nearby. What's this? We got a... Piece of lore. The war rages between resistance forces and the vile Chitari. Because remember, that's the recent war that everyone keeps referring to. We've engaged them throughout the Seknaf system with the costliest battles taking place in orbit of Seknaf 9. We've already seen the Chitari landing on the planet's surface, which makes us rethink our belief that it is a neutral world. Or maybe the Monster Queen fights her own resistance below. If we ever intended to find an alliance here, we've long since ruined our chances by pelting her world with downed ships. Not just Chitari, we've already lost half of our own fleet. It must look like the heavens are raining fire down there. There are no winners in this conflict, only death. We're waiting for the inevitable retreat orders. We cannot win this battle. I'm not even certain we can win this war. Okay. Very inspiring there, Mr. Resistance person. Let's grab the loot. Yoink. Confused human, welcome! Meanwhile, uh, Frosty and Sparkle Sauce are having uh, challenges with their cats malfunctioning. <laughs> Careful. Okay, objective. Looks like something big moved through here. Yay! If you see anything with claws the size of Drax, let me know. I thought we already had our monster. What's she tracking this thing for? For sport. Nothing wrong with a little sport. A girl has to keep busy. You are looking for trouble, assassin. Let oh, what me you got? guess. Some kind of monster thing. Good guess. Well done. Any chance it doesn't know we're here? Nope. Only question is, which one of us will jump first? It's probably not gonna jump us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, it's definitely gonna jump us. So which way's forward? That way? Second Afghan dung blotch. Clairvoyance assassin. Huh? You never learned to track? The Tathians do not chase our prey. We lure them and await the perfect moment to strike. That can take a while. Mm -hmm. Patience is a virtue of the hunter. Fair point. All right, we need to explore the side areas always because they give us fat little loot upgrades like this. Awesome. 
Who is the voice of Gamora? I actually don't know. Yeah, some kind of cave. Maybe it's got hidden treasure. Or hidden bodies. Oh, please don't let there be a space baron here. And hello, mystery goo. All right, well, we've got some, uh... Yay. Okay, so note to self. If it looks like a monster cave and smells like a monster cave, and you're on a monster planet... Yeah, all right, let's... What are we? Oh. <laughs> yep, it's definitely fighting, Rocket, and we gotta do it ourselves. Lock on, Quill. Yeah, I think you're getting closer. Ah, uh, there we go. That's better. I keep mistiming that thing because I'm looking at other things. There we go. What are we doing? Get some jelly, dude. I took care of it. Fun, Scott. I knew I should have come down earlier. Wait. So where are you? Hey, what's that? Where are you? Checking things out. This place is bigger than I thought. <laughs> nice hidden passage. I ain't far, Quill. Scream really loud if you find another blob creature. You know I will. <laughs> so Kimberly Sue Murray is the voice of Gamora. Cool. Hey, um, listen, while it's just the two of us. What's up? Uh, you're busy exploring. Just meet me in the main cave when you're done looking around. All right. Okay, let's get this secret area finished first for these unlockables. Oh, new costume for Gomorra. That's a nice one. <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy 14, 2014 movie. Nice. Who else does Kimberly Sue Murray voice, uh, Frosty, does it say? Is that why she sounds familiar to Sparkle Source? All right, we're done in this little area, right? Oh no, up here we go. I'm exploring Quill. Cause yep. uh, I really need to talk to you. What's There's up, Medu? Um, personal. I need to get off my chest. It's the kind of thing you don't want people. Uh, hmm. What's going on? What's well, up? I'm not sure about this whole selling brute thing. Rocky, we've been over this. It's gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if it's not? What if something bad happens? Groot's the only real family I got. He's the only one who's accepted me for me. You don't know what he's been through. The way he's been treated. Like some kind of thing to be studied and kept in a cage. Groot offered to do this. And if Gamora offers to tell a joke, you're just going to assume it's funny? Not sure I get where... Th I'm saying Groot ain't built for scheming. He ain't no monster. We don't know that. It's obvious. Maybe to you, but three out of five of us think he's monster enough. So give him a chance. He knows what he's doing. Fine. Have it your way. Come on. The sooner we get the Lady Hellbender, the sooner we can focus on paying that stupid fine. Easy for you to say. You ain't the one getting auctioned out. Oh, poor Rocket. He loves Groot. That's fair, but Groot, I think, realistically, is a more convincing Groot's option. Fine. You worry too much. Still no sign of whatever made those claw marks? No, just some jelly dudes. Then it must be out on the hunt. Sparkle Source, you, you mean you side with Rocket? You you would um, give Rocket instead? Problem is, he's too... I am eager to experience Lady Hellbender's... Smart and interactive. <laughs> yeah, I bet you are. You wouldn't go for What's it. What's the weirdest monster you guys have seen? I once saw a brood transformed regalian wearing a Clintar parasite. You could fit a lot of teeth into a head that big. You have no idea. You sure you want to get lost out here? Relax, I'm just looking around. <laughs> We're exploring. They feel the same as Rocket. Look, I understand where Rocket's coming from, but I still think she's going to buy it more with Groot. She's going to believe it more than she will with Rocket. And plus, with Rocket on our team, we can bust him out easier. Right? Oh. Um. There's further proof that we are not welcome here. If we turn back every time we ain't wanted, we never go anywhere. Good point. 
By the way, thank you, Frosty, for uh, revealing what else she's voiced. I don't recognize any of those. Bruce says everything with skin is monstrous to him. But it's less disgusting when they have fur covering it. Hey, thanks, bud. <laughs> everything with skin is disgusting. Uh, so does that mean we can't go through here? Scan it. Bruning recommended for pollinator access. What? What does that even mean? I can't seem to prune it though. And I mistimed that again. No, that does not work. Time to so, find a different uh, way. Tracks, Gamora. You're just messing with us, right? Nope. <laughs> Are you frightened, rodent? I'm cautious. You try being this size. I gotta watch out for things that can eat me in one gulp. What else are we gonna find? Culture. Stone carving depicting scarf sec Seknarf 9 social structure pre lady hellbender so before she was around small faces represent peasants large faces represent the priests who ruled over and protected them okay i see i see the sculptures now um i don't know where we're going team oh try powers i'm so dumb <laughs> thank you veto I forgot that we can actually get other people to do stuff. The way forward. You sure, Drax? No. Good enough. Yeah. <laughs> you sure? No. Good enough. Pruning. Yes. That would be something that Gamora can do. Name is Lady Hellbender. Yeah, Gamora. If we want an audience with her, we have to start showing some respect. This from the guy who calls me Harlot Bonistanos. An accurate description. We all know which Harlot Spawn it refers to. Gamora's actually adopted, so not even that accurate. Uh, yeah. Also, not a Harlot. Right, right. Th that, too. We'll yeah. need to find a way out of this jungle. Why? It's dry down here. Wouldn't you rather be wet than lost? Not particularly. Break through here. But thank you, Vito. I can't believe I didn't think to get... Gamora to chop stuff. More upgrades. What are you going to talk about, Gamora? Should we ask them for directions? I'm thinking maybe they are directions. Seriously? Oh. Oh, like a signpost or something. I'm not saying it's an arrow with the word fortress on it, but statues suggest civilization, and the only settlement I saw when we were topside was Lady Hellbender's fortress. All right. Follow the weird, uh, follow the weird statues. This thing has got to weigh more than all of us put together. Yeah, I'm sensing a... Okay, maybe excluding Groot. I'm sensing a boss fight coming. Now where'd he go? Hey, Quill! You out laying your eggs or something? That is not how Terrans reproduce. Not how most Terrans reproduce. That's what makes our quill so special. Interesting. <laughs> I don't lay eggs. Ha! <laughs> Amazing. I love the banter. There's just an endless supply of ripping and banter. They are all alien. I know they're all alien. I mean, this one's freakier. What are we doing here? Dead end. That's just great. Wait, is that Chitauri tech over there? Ask the Chitauri. No, no, it is. It's a retractable bridge. They used them at the prison I was in. Too bad the controls are on the other side of the giant chasm. We what are you? do not have time to dawdle in this jungle. I shall hurl the creature over the chasm so he may activate the bridge. I may activate a hole through your face. Ha, ha. Put me down. Do we throw him? Do we throw him? We'll find another way around. Uh, what do we want to do? 
There's no timer ticking down, so I don't have to rush the decision on my own. <laughs> are we throwing Drax? Uh, are we throwing throwing Rocket? Anyone got a preference? <laughs> Vito says throw. <laughs> All right, let's throw. Fine, just curl up in a ball. What? Drax, throw him. No. Very well. Peter. It's okay. He'll land on his feet. Ooh. Uh, I guess that only applies to cats. You sons of sharks! Scut busting ass! I am not familiar with these words. Filthy grunt scum, but I don't he's making them up. Blocks. He's really pissed. You can rot, you free bag and flark hole! At least he's not shooting at us. <laughs> now we order the beast to do its job. Rocket, come on, man! Cram it, fast face! Fix the bridge and we'll raise your cut by five percent. I want ten! Okay, deal. We'll take it out of Groot's cut. He doesn't understand money anyway. <laughs> so, set at the top, Rocket was pissed at that decision. <laughs> All right. Sparkle Source, your chat spazzed. You might be a bit slow, perhaps. A bit delayed. If you even think a full place up, people. Incoming! <laughs> what are these? All right, these also have a stagger meter. All right, Drax. Build the stagger bar. Oh, they're next to each other. There we go, well done, Rocket. Well done, well done. Rocket, we got any more of those bombs? No, nope, we don't, but I'm getting slapped. Give us all the health, the juicy, juicy health. Drop that one, please. Thank you. Nope, shoot the back one. It's already weak. And I shall remove their wings. Well, unleash me onto these fools. Unleash me, he says. All right, have this one, Drax. Show them the muscle. No fair, they can fly. Once the stagger bar is maxed, there we go. We can slap it. Assassin. I keep getting slapped, though. I knew you had my back. What's next, Peter? We need to unlock more abilities. That's what we need to do. Right on, Gamora. Yeah, I'm feeling all turned around as well. Where the flark are we? Why are we so sure this is the way? The statues here didn't walk into place. They were carried. Carried? By whom? For what purpose? I thought you were supposed to be the Lady Hellbender expert. There was nothing in the pamphlet about statues. Maybe they weren't carried. Maybe some musclehead threw them over the ravine against their will. <laughs> Lady Hellbender could no doubt accomplish such a feat. All right, what's in the area? We can scan this. Get it that what chopped by doing on a backwater mud ball like this. All right, Nora, research this way. 50 units as it ain't. I... No way are we almost there. Still got like half a planet to walk across. Lady Hellbender could cross this jungle in seven strides. Sure she could. Or she would have flown over the mountains. Oh, she flies now. I heard she shoots lasers out of her eyes. Now we're talking. Uh, I have not heard that one. I heard there are actually nine of her. That's why they call it Seknarf Nine. Ha, that, that is preposterous. That one's preposterous. Huh. I, uh... 
do I scan this one? The statues are not watching us. Oh, it's just more so carvings. Sure. They say Lady Hellbender has eyes everywhere. Of course they do. Well, how do we get up there? There's loot up there. Oh, up from where those guys are. All right, that's the way. This is the way. We'll win this together. Hit the music. You're a big guy. 